I was reading the obituaries in the paper and I said to my wife, oh no, it looks like our neighbor died. She said, who, Ray? I said, cheering isn't appropriate now, darling. Anyway, I killed, I, I butchered that joke, didn't I? But it was a little bit funny. Welcome to Shave and Butcher. Nice shave today, a bit of a treat for me and hopefully for you. Uh, but first, went on a trip with the missus and we saw an aqueduct. Aqueducts was built 150 years ago. I should know because <laughs> I was just there, and it was connecting lakes in in the southwest of Sweden. Uh, it's in Hoverud, if you if you've been there. Um, also, we saw a thousand-year-old copper mine. <laughs> And uh, they like it in the middle of the country where we were, this was in Darlana. Uh, they like their pits. So we went to a concert or actually a musical in another pit. Yes, it was pouring down and everybody had a lot of rain clothes on, but it was nice anyway. It was actually a very good show. Um, uh, and we watched uh, the production of Dala horses, Dala Hester. If you're not Swedish, you probably won't know what it is, but it's one of these carved in wood, pine wood and painted, decorated in different ways. It's a very Swedish thing. Actually, I think the Pope has one and we give one to all the presidents. I'm sure they treasure it and put it on a pedestal somewhere. Even Frank Sinatra had one. Um, you could also buy for next to nothing, uh, not finished one. So these were discarded for whatever reason. So this needs fine-tuning, you know, carving the edges and making the legs round, etc. So I purchased the, the Mura Kniv, the knife for it. This is what they actually use uh, in the carving. And, and this, is, this is a little bit from the production. So, hmm, I've got this, sharp enough, good steel, French uh, carbon steel, uh, good for honing, so I thought, it is quite sharp, it was very sharp, 
uh, but I'll make it a bit sharper and maybe I can shave with it. And afterwards, I spent quite a bit of time on it. It was more dull than when I got it. So no shaving with this and carving is a little bit painful, but I, I started anyway. So it's a bit of a chore, but I, I'll attempt finishing it and painting it in, in, a, in a cool way. If I succeed, I'll show you. But anyway, enough about that. It's a Ukrainian shave today. The soap is taro. Is that up? up so, yeah, that's the right side up. Taro from Arefa Soap. I have the matching aftershave. Can't remember the scent notes. And this is, uh, God, what was this? This was, this was bear tallow, I think. But it's like font. 0.5 so I can't tell for sure I think it's I think it's bare bare tallow the razor is from the Ukraine and it's Le Capitaine art razor huge thing nine eighths half hollow look how thick that is very thick very Ukrainian Slava Ukraina and that's about it uh, loaded the brush already because I have only carved out bits from it. I haven't uh, I haven't loaded the brush in the container, so I don't want to ruin it. Well, here we go. Five minutes, no shaving whatsoever. No, it was a cool little trip. We did other things as well. We, I found, I found a, a potato chip outlet. <laughs> so they make potato chips in something called Philips Star. And they have an outlet. So we went there and next door was an outlet for hard bread. God, this brush is still not broken in. Bloody hopeless. Hard bread, knäckebröd, and pasta combined. It was the same company. So this pasta that we buy, uh, one of the better known brands is called Barilla, because it's Italiano, but it's bloody well made in Philips Stard. <laughs> oh, I need more soap. I'll do some more loading. So, you know, we did things like that and it was a classic stay in your country, vacation, see things you should see and, you know, cheap and cheerful. Went round by car. It's very nice, very nice. Some good Greek food in Karlstad. Anyone from Karlstad here? Anyone from Philipstad? Anyone from Dalarna? Yeah, the mine was cool. Cool. Uh, had a museum. And it's a thousand years old. At least. No one really knows for sure exactly how old it is, but at least a thousand years. And it took a good few hundred years before it got down to the copper. I guess they broke iron ore to start with. And now there's a whole town there. Okay, this is all it's going to be in terms of soap. I will make do with it. I, I genuinely can't believe how long it's taken to break this in. I must have shaved 35 times with it. And it still kills every lather apart from Mitchell's wool fat. That's the only bloody lather that works. I've tried different soaps, I've tried the best artisan soaps, and they just go, oh. But for some reason, Mitchell's wool fat is the sturdy choice. Okay. I need to add moisture because otherwise it's going to be too dry. That kills the lather even more. 
So this is super um, low structure, high density. It's basically hair conditioner at the end. I haven't, I haven't tried making the lather in a bowl. Maybe that's, maybe that's the way to go. Too late now. I'm not gonna scrape it off my face. Okay, just a touch more, more water. And now I like it wet. But there's absolutely no build-up whatsoever. So I actually don't know how, how lubricated or rather how, how watered down this is. It's moving, it's moving around a bit, so maybe it's okay. Okay, this razor, I... I generally only use it at New Year's for the New Year's shave. I'll use it today because it's Ukrainian theme. This thing is huge. Ah, look, leather. Ah, leather. Boom, shakalaka. So, did you watch the Olympics? Are they showing it where you live? I guess you are. Even on Granada. Granada was the had the most amount of medals per capita. Sweden did okay. We got four gold medals and 11 medals in total. Not bad, actually. Pretty good lather, considering the lathering process. But I enjoyed it. I didn't watch all that much. I mean, I watched the, a lot of the Swedes. Watched the men's basketball. With the American Dream Team, and that was... <laughs> A bit underwhelming considering who was on the team. They could have been a bit more convincing. Just barely beat France. But it was a great show. Great show they put on. I mean, having Celine Dion, um, who isn't performing anymore because she's got a disease, a muscular disease that affects her a lot, including her voice. So you barely see her. You saw her at Montreal Canadiens draft pick. So she did that. 
and the opening of the Olympics, you know, two events of similar importance, obviously. Watching her sing Edith Piaf from the Eiffel Tower, I got tears in my eyes. So they put on a good show. And because the Swedish men were good in whatever that game you play on the beach when you go to the beach, beach volleyball. Uh, and they won it in the end. I watched quite a bit of that. And that was at the foot of the Eiffel Tower at night. It was just so cool. But what do you think? Did you enjoy it? I watched the table tennis as well. Sweden managed two silver medals because there's no beating China. That's just some of the most nerve wracking thing you can watch if it's, a, if it's a game that is of some importance. So I watched that and obviously watched Men's Pole Vault with Armin de Plantis, the Swede who won. And on the third attempt, He beats his old world record, his own old world record. This is a shit shape, by the way. This razor needs a lot of love. I think I shall need to invite Niklas or Matti to lunch and convince them to hone it for me. I'm not going to do it myself. I'll only ruin it. I'm sweating quite a bit. So whatever is left of the lather is just not left <laughs> but yeah Olympics are over summer is almost over we're back to work and uh, all we can do now is wait until Christmas comes it's gonna come before you know it Nice, nice thumbnail. <laughs> so what did you do this summer? Did you get up to anything fun? I mean, for a lot of people, summer isn't over, vacation isn't over, but did you do anything good so far or bad? Did you do anything bad? There's no soap left. <laughs> Enough. Basta. Basta parilla. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, I don't even want to feel what that feels like. I think I scraped some off. Oh, 
Yeah, pretty horrible shape. <laughs> I mean, it feels okay, but I just, this is not ready for me toning. I have time until New Year's, but it shall need to be honed. Okay, matching aftershave, Taro from Arefa Soap in Ukraine. There we go, and here we go. Not too much. Going to bed soon. Don't want to wake the wife up. It's asking for trouble. Molto bene. Sehr gut. Très bien. Very good. Count them. That was it. I'm going to do some carving now before I go to bed. Thanks for watching. Stay sharp.